Watch this video till the end to learn all the productivity tips and tricks to create and use a pivot table. So why do we use pivot tables in MS Excel? It's simple. If you want to get insight from your data or create reports really fast, you will need pivot tables. Let's say you receive this data set. You need to figure out the total sales by product and get them in order so you can see which product generate the most sales. You also want to figure out which customer account for the highest percentage of total sales. We can get this done faster than it takes to make a cup of coffee. Let's get started. In this example, we have sales data by product, customer and company. Now the first thing you need to do before you insert a pivot table is to make sure that your data is organized in a proper format. This means it should be in a tabular data format like you see here. Each column has a header. You shouldn't have empty columns in the middle and you also should not have empty rows in the middle of your data set. And I think you shouldn't have all total values in the middle of this data set. Once you are positive with these points, you are now ready to insert your pivot table. To do that, you can go to insert and select pivot table from here and check this out. The range here is hard coding it to cell A1 to H48. This is until where I have my data. If I add more lines to this data, they will not be added in my report. I will have to update my range, but I would rather avoid this step. So what I need to do before I can insert a pivot table to turn my data set into an official Excel table. This has the added advantage that whenever I get my new data, my pivot table will automatically reflect that the moment I press refresh. All I have to do is to click on this button here that's called table or use the shortcut key control plus T. Excel asks you that if your table has header, you can click OK and now a table is inserted in my data. Now what I also prefer to do is to give my table a name so that I can recognize it later. You can do it from this table name box here. Now that we have a table, we can automatically summarize with the pivot table or go back to insert and click on pivot table. Check what happens now. We get the name of our table. As our table expands with new data, they will automatically be included in our pivot table. But before I do this, I want to show you even an easier way and that is to click on recommended pivot tables. These are actually quite smart. They might just give you an exactly what you are looking for or they might help you get a faster start. So for example, here I have the sum of sales by customer name. One of the report I want to create has sales in it. So I'm going to go with that. Just select it and click on OK and you get your pivot table inserted on a new sheet. This is the result of my table. It does all the selecting stuff for me. I didn't have to write a single formula to do this. Now, what you see here are all the headers of your data set. That's why each column needs to have a header. What Excel went ahead and did when you inserted your pivot table is that it puts the sale in the value section and the customer name in the raw section. Now, if for some reason you don't want to see the sum of sales, but instead you would rather see something else, for example, the average, you can click on this drop down, go to value field settings and change your selection from here. So I go with average and press OK. Now you can also change that from here. Right click is your best friend in a pivot table. If I right click, I can also select value field setting from here. I'm going to put this to sum and click OK. Okay, another thing you can get to with a right click is the number format. So let's say I want to add 1000 separators to my number here. I can select number format. So don't select format cells because that just format the underlying cell. Number format stay with your pivot table as it expands. So I'm going to go with number, use 1000 separator and zero decimal places. Now you can adjust and update this pivot table as you need to do it. So for example, if I wanted to look at the different country, I could decide to add the country in the filter. And then when I click on this drop down, I can select a specific country or I can activate multi select, which in this case doesn't make sense because I just have two items and you can also leave it on all. Now, if you decide that you don't want to have country in the filter, you can bring it to the column section. And now we have customer name by country here. We also automatically get the grand total on this side. Now, if you have another level, let's say we are going to bring product code to the rows here. 
we also get subtotals okay so now let's talk about designing your pivot table so for example under grand total you might decide to deactivate it for either to rows or to columns or for everything if you don't want to see it at all so if i go with off it completely remove my grand totals if i just activate it for columns only i get the grand total on the bottom here you might also want to do the same thing for subtotals if i select do not show subtotals it's going to remove them from here now let's talk about the layout of your report the layout that i prefer is to show in a tabular form this gives me the column header for each of the field here now another thing you might want to do is to fill in the gaps here under report layout you could select repeat all item labels and that repeat everything and fill in the gaps but i'm just going to remove that and now let's take a look at the button here so you can collapse field or expand fields if you want to take away this ability you can go to pivot table analyze and here in the show group click on this button and it takes away the button if you click again it it brings them back okay so now let's see the field list this one here if for some reason you close that and you want to get it back you can do that by going back to show and selecting the field list from here now i'm just going to put everything back to the way i had so i don't want country uh, whenever you don't want anything you can just kick it out just drag and drop it here somewhere in the fields list i also don't want the product code so i just want customer name by sales one other thing you might want to do is to update the header here so i don't want anyone to see sum of sales let's say i just want them to see sales when i press enter you can see that excel doesn't like it excel doesn't like it if a header here is identical to a field name here so if you want it to be identical what you need to do is either add a space after the name or before the name or you can completely change the name also for grand total i can just call this total all right so let's also update the design of this pivot table by selecting a different style so you have a lot of options here and you can also create your pivot table style if you would like one thing i would like to do here is to sort this so just right click sort and largest to smallest now if you noticed that the pivot table column collapse there is the option for this you can actually remove auto fit if you don't want this to happen so right click go to pivot table options on the bottom here you have the auto fit column with an update let's take away that check mark and click okay one thing that my manager asked me to that was to get the sale percentage by customer as compared with the total and let's say i also want to see the complete sale value here well what i can do here is i can bring in sale second time into my value field and now check this out i'm going to right click show value as and select percentage of grand total but you can check out all the other option that you have if you get a chance go ahead and try these because they can come in handy when you are creating reports now i am going to call this sales percentage okay so our report is now done so this was how easy it is to create pivot table in excel that was a quick introduction to pivot tables but with all the explaining i was a bit slower than it takes to make a cup of coffee because i was explaining a lot before i sign off let's summarize the benefit of pivot table pivot table help you get answer from your data without you having to write complex formulas it's very fast to create a pivot table and it's really easy to use one it help you find relationship between your data and you can also visualize these report with a pivot chart but that's a topic for another video thank you for watching this video until next time